I, I have to uh, say something because there was a, a young lady who, who writes for uh, one of the magazines yes. uh, and she was distracted by my fat suit I, in her review. Uh, now, and I'm just gonna say this, I don't really care how you felt about the movie, but you should know that was not a fat suit, that was me, uh, yeah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I gotta tell you guys, I just finished laughing my butt off. Literally, L-M-F-A-O-ing <laughs> at this hilarious correction, probably the funniest corrections I've ever read in my life. Like, this is not, an exaggeration okay this is not an exaggeration i was literally crying of laughter when i first read this because i couldn't believe it it's so embarrassing and humiliating for whoopi goldberg who routinely gets embarrassed and humiliated on the view but this right here is probably the funniest one because whoopi goldberg uh apparently she is coming out with a new movie or she has some new movie or something like that <laughs> i believe she's in the movie uh, about emmett till Okay, a tragic story, a story that is definitely worth being told. And um, it premiered this weekend or something, okay? And a liberal writer, right, from the Daily Beast, which is a far left progressive um, magazine or, or website or whatever, right? Um, they accused Whoopi of being in a fat suit, right? They said that she was wearing a fat suit and Whoopi had to come out here and issue a correction an embarrassing correction that she in fact was not in a fat suit so so let's actually read about this and i'm gonna go ahead and play the clip for you guys the view co-host whoopi goldberg clarified monday she was not wearing a fat suit in a new movie forcing the daily beast to issue a hilarious correction about goldberg's weight <laughs> the daily beast kendall cunningham wrote a review about the upcoming film till which details the gruesome murder of 14 year old emmett till in 1955, Goldberg plays Alma Carthan, Till's grandmother and the mother of Mammy. Quote, Mammy's journey leading up to the trial is constructed by a conversation between her and her family members, including Whoopi Goldberg as her mother, Alma Carthan, in a distracting fat suit. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. They, they said, Whoopi, 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 Whoopi was in a distracting fat suit, right? <laughs> boy, boy, I'm dying. I'm dying, boy. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's me. I just find this to be hilarious, okay? I really do. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and play this clip of Whoopi Goldberg addressing her potentially then in a fat suit by saying that, hey, you know, I was in fat and I'm wearing a fat suit. Play the clip. And I, I have to... Uh say something because there was a, a young lady who who writes for uh one of the magazines yes. uh and she was distracted by my fat suit I, in her review uh now and i'm just gonna say this i don't really care how you felt about the movie but you should know that was not a fat suit that was me uh yeah and that was steroids. Remember last year? Yeah, I had all, you were. Okay, you were and I was Ill. very, was very sick. And you so, were in the hospital. and I assume you don't watch the show, or you would have known that that was not a fat suit. But I just want to let you know that it's okay not to be a fan of a movie, but you want to leave people's looks out. Yeah, so yeah. just comment on the acting, and and if you have a question, ask somebody, because I'm sure you didn't mean to be demeaning but whoopee if that was the distraction and you're doing movie reviews on such a powerfully yeah. impactful visceral response tragic awful story then i question your abilities to review a movie and, in and general i saw this it's one of those movies that sticks with you for weeks <laughs> afterward but like you said you could take kids to see this because yeah. you don't show the violence no. but you show the hatred you show the pain yeah. and i'm not surprised it's getting oscar buzz this is one of the most mm. powerful movies i've yeah. seen in a very yeah. long and time
Yeah. So obviously this story is a very serious story. It's nothing to laugh about. However, this right here, this situation is absolutely hilarious. Okay. And I am going to laugh about it with no shape because in my opinion, uh, this liberal website, progressive website, Daily Beast and their author <laughs> writing this review about this movie and assuming or thinking that Whoopi was wearing a fat suit. Again, to me, <laughs> it really is something that is hilarious. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I actually read the review and it wasn't even a bad review. It wasn't even a review that suggested that the author disliked the movie. Okay. The, the review just told what the movie was about. That's it. Um, so, you know, just because <laughs> the author thought that Whoopi was wearing a distracting fat suit, which this is a picture of Whoopi in, in the movie, and you guys can judge for yourself if it's reasonable. To <laughs> so Whoopi was wearing a fat suit. But um, just because the author assumes that she's wearing a fat suit doesn't mean that she thinks that the movie is bad, okay? Or that they're trying to, you know, make fun of people, make fun of Whoopi because of her looks. I legitimately think that the author probably had not seen Whoopi for a long time. She probably doesn't watch The View or whatever. And they saw Whoopi in that movie and was like, damn, Whoopi gained some weight, right? She don't put on some pounds, okay? Because I don't think Whoopi used to always be as big as she is now. So that being said, I mean, we got to keep it 100, Whoopi. You're big, right? I mean, that's just, it is what it is. If somebody thinks that you're wearing a fat suit, that should tell you that you're probably packing on a little bit too much weight. Again, I'm not saying that you should be made fun of it because of that. I'm not saying that it's right to pick on you because of it or to bully you over it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, instead of getting offended by it, you issue the correction and in your head, you probably should say, wow, if this person thought I was wearing a fat suit, maybe I should lose some weight. I'm just saying you're getting up there in age. You know, you're overweight. I, I would suggest that you lose some weight because you are indeed overweight, okay? I mean, that's just the facts of the situation, right? It's unfortunate that this reviewer thought that you were wearing a fat suit, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. The fact that she would even think that tells you that you got a problem that you need to fix. You got some issues. You should lose some weight. I mean, you're getting up there in age, right? You're older, you're black woman, right? Y'all love to talk about black people, Okay. Um, yeah, you, you should probably lose some weight. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because it's not the steroids whooping, right? I understand that you might've been sick at the time when you was filming this and that the steroids may have made your cheeks bigger, but it wasn't the steroids whooping. That wasn't the reason why she thought you were wearing a fat suit. She thought you was wearing a fat suit because you packed on some pounds over the years. Okay. And again, you, you should probably try to get rid of those pounds. You have millions of dollars at your disposal. Get a personal trainer, hire a chef. And, you know, shed some weight, you know, live a little bit longer, be healthier, feel better. Um, you know, don't get too upset about this. Just reflect on it and understand why she's saying that. That's all it is. You ain't got to be offended by it. There's nothing wrong with her commenting on your looks. It, she said it was distracting, right? <laughs> you been overweight. It's distracting, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> this is hilarious. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.